I just lost my bumper. Well, my bumper finally came today, so I'm supposed to unwrap it and let it grow in the sun. And we'll see how that works out. So here it is, partially unwrapped. Uh, the sides are folded in, so I guess it'll take original shape once it gets some heat. I don't know if it's going to get hot enough out here today. I'll probably have to bring it out tomorrow. Just pull this inside for now. Okay, so I got the bumper cover all set up on sawhorses here in the sun for it to take shape. So it's been sitting out in the sun for a few hours. I took it off the sawhorses and I held it in certain directions a little bit as it got hotter and made sure it was actually uh, facing the sun. So that helped a lot. So I'm going to let it sit here for a while longer. I probably won't actually be able to even paint it today. It's a bit too windy. So my bumper is pretty much in the right shape now. So I'm cutting out the holes to put these fog lights in. So I got one cut out so far and I'm working on the other. It seems like the easiest way to do it is to start by cutting it with this and then taking a razor blade once you just get it scored so deep. Uh, it actually, once it gets to be a certain depth, it's a real pain with this, but it just goes, the knife just goes right through it, so. I gave this a quick sanding with 1000 grit sandpaper and I'm gonna clean it up with some soapy water then and uh, probably give it another little sanding. Uh, I'm going to touch up a little couple spots with some black primer that I bought because uh, I noticed a few spots needed it. I didn't want the paint just to start coming off in little spots. So I'm going to go over this whole thing really, really well. Not to say that it's going to come out well. So I decided that I'm going to paint these things and uh, I guess caulk them in really well since the fitment wasn't good. So I'm going to paint them red after I primer them. So. I'm going to primer them up now. I just sanded one. This one's not sanded yet. Hopefully this will turn out nice. Once these are both dry, I'm going to install them on the bumper. So now I have these things installed. I pre-drilled two little holes on each side to put screws in. And then I also... Let's see if you can see it. I put one in there, I had to drill that, and uh, these two spots had holes on this side, but not, you know, through here. So I pre-drilled them, installed them, so these things are in, not going anywhere. They're all primered. So I just have to touch up the bumper and then I can start painting it. And then I also have this mesh grill, custom grill mesh. I had gotten it at Ollie's like, I don't know, 15 years ago, maybe more. Uh, it's probably almost as old as the car is now. So, it's black. Light glows, all aluminum colored key grill mesh will give you, will give any vehicle that street racer look. This is what it looks like here. So I'm going to put this behind here. I think that'll look cool. So I'm going to flip over the bumper and figure out how to attach this, but I think I'm going to do that after I paint it. Now I want to fill the cracks and gaps going around this here. So after looking at a bunch of products, I chose this, even though I'm not sure if it's really going to work, but I guess I can always take it all apart and redo it down the road if not. Now the reason I chose this is because it says it's crack proof. It's very flexible, it's water cleanup, and it's paintable. And it also says it works on PVC and composite and stuff, so I'm assuming that it should be alright with plastic. I guess we'll find out. So now, with a nice bead around there, I'm just going to trow it in with my finger. And then clean it up with water. Now even if you make a little bit of a mess, it actually just cleans up with a rag and water, just like so. And get all the caulk back off there. Make it look nice and clean. So I'm going to work on this for a few minutes. So now that one side's all finger troweled in and cleaned up with water, I'm going to do the other side and then let it dry. 
and then maybe do another layer because it's probably going to shrink in a little bit. I want it to look like it's actually one piece, like it was made this way from the factory to a degree. I mean, there's still that, but... Now, I always keep a bucket of water right next to me to keep cleaning the rag off with because you don't want the rag to get too, uh, you know, cluttered with caulk to the point where it just wipes white stuff all over everything you're trying to work on. So now I cut this down with these. So now it's a bit shorter, but I left enough so that it can be wrapped around. Like I'm gonna kink this and fold it and get it really tight in here. For much bending and flexing and cutting out corners and stuff, it looks like it's pretty much in place. I just have to figure out a way to get it to stay. Might use some kind of epoxy glue, I'm not sure. But before I permanently attach it, I want to paint the bumper red. So I've also been trimming up any little excess plastics that's not perfect. Like look at this little edge here. So here's where I'm at with the bumper. I've used two cans of paint already, just eight ounce cans. Um, I have two more now, which I'm gonna apply in a minute. Just got done reprepping it because it's a different day. Uh, looks pretty good so far. So this is what the bumper looks like after the second coat of this. So needless to say, I'm ordering more paint and I'm gonna do one more coat and then some clear coat. Just gave the grill a quick coat of clear coat. So now after a few coats of clear coat, I brought it inside to cure for a few days because we had some nasty weather outside. Um, so I attached the grill here. I was able to get two of the push clips in, but then the holes didn't line up for the other two in the middle, so I just put in big zip ties. Um, I put the headlight or the uh, fog lights back in, and then this mesh grill, I made sure that the screws on both sides went through it a bit and caught. And uh, that held it in place all right, actually. But then I took some Gorilla Glue epoxy and put it on a bunch of little spots in the corners and stuff to help hold it. So right now it's drying. And of course, everyone knows how to put a Civic bumper on. So this is what the bumper looks like when it's on. Looks pretty good. So I'm really liking the way the front end looks. The only thing I noticed is that it looks like this should be black. So luckily this piece will come off with these 10 millimeter bolts here. There's four of them. After you take the four nuts off, there's this center plastic thing that you kind of got to press in with a screwdriver. And after a bunch of wiggling around and pressing it over and over again and pulling this, it finally popped off. Now, it was probably mostly held on by dirt, so I brought a bucket of soapy water out here to try to clean behind it a little bit. Well, I'm going to give it a good cleaning now and then start prepping it to paint it black. Now, because this thing's in good shape, I'm just going to give it a light sanding and just give it a coat of paint. Now that I'm done sanding it, I'm going to clean it up with alcohol. Looking good with about three or four coats of paint. Now I just got to let this dry a little bit and then I'm going to put some clear coat on. As it turns out, I can actually keep my old wiring harness. So uh, this part was broken off, so I just clipped this and uh, I'm just hard wiring it. I'm going to shrink wrap that in a second. All right, so the fog lights are installed. I used the old harness. Everything's working. So there it is. There's the bumper all on, fog lights back in, grill on. Now of course I bumped the paint so I have to touch it up. And I also have to put the wheel wells in.